Make a video about every emperor, they said. It'll be fun, they said. There's something interesting about all of them, they said. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Philip the Arab's son, Philip II, is about the least historically interesting Philip II imaginable. Alexander the Great's father, he is not. Here we have another boy king, elevated to Caesar at the age of seven to become co-ruler with his father, who no doubt thought he was initiating some kind of lasting dynasty. While the ancients tell us that Philip II died in his father's defeat at the hands of Decius, modern historians believe that he was murdered by the Praetorians at age 12, as news of Philip the Arab's death reached Rome. Like other boy kings, he never really had time to do anything interesting, his reign having been ended due to political events well beyond his grasp. While Philip was murdered, his mother, Philip the Arab's spouse notably was not. Marcia Otakilia Sawera Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. may have been complicit in the murder of Gordian III years ago, though she escaped the bloodshed that took her husband and son afterward disappearing into history. 